No one knows my inner pain. There's a man who wrestles men, a man with a devil inside. He has the mind of a lion king, fights for the right to a bride. You see this wavy one and say, but that just isn't right. You think you are imagining in a very ugly light. But it is true, the warrior who has undeveloped guns, whose frame is way too wafer thin, can barely hold two buns. But as he fights on each new day, his scramble to the top may mystify and humanize his will. Will never stop. His will will never stop. Me is on this episode of Under the Mat, we take a premeditated and preemptive dive into the world of professional wrestling and the characters that make up this colorful and grueling battering ram of existence that is the life of a pro wrestler. As my born skinny son somewhat grew and matured into what he is today, his a wrestling, wrestling obsession began to take its toll on the neighborhood cats and dogs. Under the Mat has uncovered the man behind the mask and the real person behind Measly Man, and his name is Barry Ritchie. I crawl like a snake too, and without hesitation, I attack. You are witnessing the beginning of a hero's journey. This is the beginning of a saga of one man's quest to simply be the best and to compete in today's world of mighty men of monstrous masses. Measly Man takes the road less traveled as the loner and the bare-boned teabag of a man whose look alone will have to do to menace his mighty foes. With muscles of mush and the mind of a mule, Measly Man makes a mockery out of machismo. And he knows it. Can you hear me now? My son has acquired a view of himself far exceeding reality and his abilities. But that hasn't stopped my measly man from pursuing his lofty and misdirected dreams. I am preparing for the heavyweight championship of the world. Yeah. With no muscle like masters, I'm a man of rebel tendencies. Yet with no means to back it up with my muscle like mass. My son has a heart bigger than his sense. Now, I had my mighty man first. He grew up, he grew up so fast and so big and so strong, I thought he was going to be the world champion wrestler. But I just could never understand why he would waste that mighty body on hairdressing. Now, Measly Man, he's very artsy too. He could have cut hair for a living, but no, 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 no. He decides to be the wrestler. Then comes along my Measly Man ten years later. And I'm thinking, well, here's my world champion wrestler. But no matter what I thought or, or how things happened, my poor measly man just was skin and bones, skin and bones. And then he just grew and grew, but he was still skin and bones. And, and Then if you believe the hype, then measly man's your man. I don't really know why his life's path led to wrestling man ten times his own weight. His aggressive wrestling obsession <coughs> began to take its toll on the neighborhood cats and dogs. But it quickly escalated 
when he began to dress himself in the in odd costumes while stalking and, and pinning down the postman and the milkman and no one knows how much inner pain I can flick down my adversary. My son has a heart bigger than his sense. Seen here attending a movie premiere over the summer, Measly Man mingles with many movie makers under the name of Barry Ritchie, a mild-mannered man whose style and grace afford him the movie director status he highly holds in this highly competitive world of Fresno movie directors. I don't really know why his life's path led him to wrestling men ten times his own weight. I sneak around like a snake and um, I crawl like a snake too and without hesitation I attack. But I suppose his grossly naive approach to this life-changing decision to become a world champion wrestler came to him from watching hours of Tarzan movies. Barry Ritchie, while doing his daily duties, dearly desires to pound his pathetic paws into monstrous opponents of menacing might. Yet, you couldn't tell by looking at this mild-mannered man that he was a highly trained wrestling wrecking machine yearning as he so eloquently and in his own special way describes his hope for his fans. I may not have the muscles, but they don't even see me coming. And neither does his opponent. Along with his wit and his lean Elish style, he slips Finger. through most fingers and hands. But measly man, he so easily can feel pain from the cheers of his fans. I am dangerous. When I'm not attacking and preparing for the heavyweight championship of the world, it hasn't stopped my measly man from pursuing his lofty dreams. <sighs> his lofty and misdirected dreams. They call me measly man. Measly man has one mission. One strategy, one collective conscious condition in which he bases his entire modus operandi on. And that one and one thing only is... I'm the baddest, boldest, meanest on the man! And I support him. One hundred and fifty percent. I'm man of rebels tendencies, yet with no means to back it up. And that's it for this edition of Under the Mat. I'm Desmond Osmond reporting live for The Joe Show. And when I'm not doing all this working, I'm watching The Joe Show. Measly man. Now back towards the light. Well, there you go, right there. That's it. Ah, oh, that's good. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Came to him from. Look right in the camera. You know those words. Came you know the line. Came to him from. Came to him from. Why? <laughs> Came to him from watching hours of Tarzan movies. Keep going. Lay your two eyes upon me, you too would scream to out loud to all the world to hear those two words to which I am known for, for which I'm known to all as measly man.